Moscow, there's a program. They call them sparrows. Trained to seduce and manipulate. That is what she is. She's out of your league. Well, the Cold War is heating up again, and J Law is right in the center of it in this uh, somewhat perverted, exploitative, but I have to say, highly entertaining thriller. It's almost a throwback to these kind of sleazy, heavily accented thrillers of the 60s and 70s, but it's got its own style and it's got its own pertinence now since Russia is in the news every day and on our minds and up to uh, all kinds of secretive things. Well, this movie dives right into that. It's based on the best-selling novel by an actual CIA operative by the name of Jason Matthews. He filled his book with a lot of details the movie seems to have eliminated in favor of some real pulp fiction here. This is sleazy, down and dirty stuff and Jennifer Lawrence is terrific. She rises above the basic kind of dirty nature of the material and I think does one of her finest performances. But then I was a big J-Law defender for Mother. I put it in my top 10 this year. I loved her in that and I, it's nice to see her expanding her uh, resume here in different kinds of projects, taking on a Russian accent here as a former ballerina by the name of Dominika. I was told to take a man to a hotel. They said he was an enemy of the state. Take off your dress. And then exchange, my mother would get the doctor she needed. Instead, they cut his throat. There could be no witnesses. So they gave me a choice. Die or become a sparrow. This is run by Charlotte Rampling. She plays a take no prisoners tough, tough instructor here, teaching her young female and male students, recruits, the art of seduction and how to use sex to get secrets and uh, get the job done. This movie's got it all. Sex, deception, violence, lots of it. Torture, seduction, nudity, lots of it. Spies, two-timing spies, and so much sleaze. It's fun, folks. I had a good time with this one. In my country, if you don't matter to the men in power, you do not matter. Hey, uh, I'd like to see you again. Why are we going to become friends? Is that what you want? I don't have any. She gets involved with uh, an American uh, CIA agent, uh, Nate Nash. He's played by... Joel Edgerton, he's also up to it too because he's sort of been found out as the American connection getting Russian secrets from a turncoat. But who is that? He's had to flee Russia because of it. Uh, she goes in search of the playing cat and mouse games with him, but their relationship becomes very complicated, as does her whole role in all of this as other things and other events uh, twirl around her. There are so many twists and turns in this movie. I got whiplash, but it's fun all the way, like I say, and lots of great actors just chewing up the scenery. Jeremy Irons, Cherry and Hans, these great actors also turning up with thick Russian accents. They're all part of the SVR. I don't want to go too much into the plot. It's got so many off-ramps, I couldn't possibly do it. Red Sparrow, oh, come on. It's hard R, lots of torture, lots of sex. What do you want? I say, go.